Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve absolute value inequalities. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So what is an absolute value inequality? For an algebraic expression x and k is greater than zero, an absolute value inequality is an inequality, inequality of the form absolute value of x is less than k is equivalent to minus k is less than x, which is less than k, as well as absolute value of x is greater than k is equivalent to x is less than negative k or x is greater than k. These statements also apply to absolute value of x, which is less than or equal to k, and absolute value of x is greater than or equal to k. So we have absolute value of x is less than or equal to k, and x is greater than or equal, absolute value of x is greater than or equal to k. Okay. Whew. So, let's go with our first example here. Okay, number nine. And they ask us this. Describe all values of x within a distance of four from the number five. Okay? All right, so all values of x within a distance of four from the number five. Well, what does that really mean here? Okay. Well, we had a number line. Let's say you have five right here. Okay. And the number line kind of goes on forever. And they want to, they're telling us here, describe all values within a distance of four from the number five. So what they're saying is the distance here above five is four units and below five has to be four units. Okay, so if I want to write that as an absolute value inequality, we would say x minus 5 oops, here in the absolute value is greater than or equal to 4. Okay, so writing that out there, how do we do it? They tell us if we write that, right, we can separate this two parts as x minus 5 is less than or equal to 4, and x minus 5 is greater than or equal to. A negative 4. Solve each one, subtract or add a 5 to both sides, x is less than or equal to 9, and x is greater than or equal to 1, okay? So they're telling us that x is between 1 and 9 here, so we can kind of write it like this. 1 is x, or less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 9, interval notation, 1 and 9 brackets there, okay? So this absolute value inequality here is equivalent to that right there that we wrote, okay? I know it's a little difficult, take some time through, so, but it just takes some practice, all right? Let's go solve one here, uh, number 10. So we're gonna solve this absolute value inequality. Absolute value of x minus one is less than or equal to three, okay? Well, we can break this down to be a negative three is less than or equal to x minus one, which is less than or equal to three. We can add a one to all three parts now. Negative three plus one is minus two, less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to three plus one, which is four, okay? Pretty much done. Let's write that interval notation, negative two and four with brackets because we can equal those values, okay? I know in the beginning it might take some time, refer back to that little chart, uh, it kind of talks about, or the rules for the inequalities, it helps us, okay, helps us remember some things. Last one here, number 11, certainly not the least, okay? They say, using a graphical approach to solve the absolute value inequality here. So given the equation, y equals a negative one-half absolute value of 4x minus 5 plus 3. Turn the x values for which y values are negative, okay? So we want to determine when y is less than zero. That's our goal, all right? Determine when the x value, determine when x values will mix y negative, that's when y is less than zero, okay? So what we're gonna do is really set this equal to the inside part, negative one half, absolute value of four x minus five, plus three, so our y value, we say is less than zero, okay? So this whole thing, what x values make values that are less than zero, that kind of being the y, okay? All right, so what can we do here? Well, at first, I'm gonna to try to see if we can get um, the absolute value by itself. Subtract a three to both sides, 
we have a negative one half, absolute value of four x minus five, plus, uh, plus sign's gone. And that's less than zero minus three, which is a minus three. When I get rid of this one, negative one half, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by a, a negative two. And in doing so, remember, we flip the inequality sign. So we have absolute value of four x minus five is greater than negative two times negative three is positive six. Okay, so now we're solving for this inequality, all right? We can have, what is greater than six? So what we have here is absolute value of four x minus five is greater than six. Let's go solve for when it's equal to, okay? When it's equal to six, and then we'll go from there and use that information. So we have four x minus five equals six. We'll see what values where it's equal six, and then we can adapt that. So we have four x minus five equals six, and four x or 4x minus 5 is equal to a negative 6. Solve each one individually. Add a 5 to both sides. 4x equals 11. Divide both sides by 4. x equals 11 fourths. Same with the right-hand side. Add a 5 to both sides. And 4x equals a negative 1. Divide both sides by 4. Opposite multiplication. x equals a negative 1 fourth. Okay? So now let's go look at the graph here. So I'm going to put the graph up right here and we can see where these values come into play, okay? So you can see negative one-fourth right there in the x values. x equals negative one-fourth, which is negative 0 0.25. x equals a positive 11 fourths, which is uh, 2.75. And you can see our absolute value graph here, okay? Our graph, that shows, uh, what is it? Uh, it shows where it's below, the y values are below the x-axis is where across the x-axis, that's what we're kind of solving, and we see the values where it was below right there on the graph. So uh, what values do we have where x is below, uh, where do we have it where the y values are below the x-axis? Well, that is where we have a negative one-fourth, right? So when x is, well, we have negative one-fourth, so when x is less than that negative one-fourth, so x is less than the negative one fourth, or when x is greater than the 11 fourths. Okay, so when x is less than negative one fourth, or when x is greater than 11 fourths, and this is negative 0 0.25, and this is 2.75 right there. And those are the two values or places, ranges, where x works here, where y is less than zero for that graph, all right? I hope you learned something about solve absolute value inequalities. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.